Hi, my name is Sydney Savick and I'm the founder of The Blog Style Solutions. Well, I started my blog at Harvard Summer School and I was going into my junior year and I decided to take journalism courses because I felt like it was at the right time like to learn what blogging was about because we're in like the height of this whole internet digital age. Um, and I wanted to blog about something that I was really passionate about. In the beginning, I was really writing just about products and kind of like reviews and my opinion on certain items. Um, but then as my blog just really evolved, it's kind of transformed more into my kind of style diary. I really think that my love for fashion came from my grandma. She was always the kind of very social woman in Palm Beach and she just loved dressing up. And she never wore like typical designers all the time. She found um, designers who would make things for herself. And I really just love that creativity about that design process that I've watched her go through. I love designers like Philip Lim, um, Chanel, Celine, kind of like the ones that I really can't afford. <laughs> but I feel like when you love fashion, you do what it takes to kind of save and you know invest in what you love. I would describe my personal style as very like uptown meets downtown. I feel like New Yorkers understand that more, kind of like the Upper East Side, classic, sophisticated um, style combined with that downtown edge. So I really like to mix high and lows, meaning um, kind of affordable clothes from Topshop, Zara, H&M, Forever 21, with key accessories that I save for and then decide that they're worth the splurge. I feel like I don't really look at one specific place to inspire me. I find that I just gravitate to a lot of color and print, so I really don't find that I look at another person or place for their opinions. I just gravitate towards what I see, and I know what I like, I know what I don't like, um, and just like shopping is kind of what inspires me, being out there and feeling the clothes, touching the clothes, and like just seeing what I find really expresses who I am as a woman. I think the main struggle that I have here in DC is that there's a lack of events to go to, um, and a lack of a fashion community. You can have a love for fashion, but that's different than pursuing it as a career. And I think that New York and other cities like LA, London, Paris, they have that community and that foundation to create scene and events and places to go. I really don't know what's next for me right now. I feel like if you asked me what I was you know, going to be doing a couple of years ago, I would have no idea because the media industry is just changing so much. Um, so I really think that you'll see an expansion on video content and hopefully me using the blog as a platform to get more comfortable and maybe going on other media channels and becoming more of like an expert on fashion instead of just doing my site.